just joining us. We are, well, we were actually scheduled to do a different show. And the show that we were going to be doing was was scheduled to be with Tayanaga Swaraj, uh, Andrew Marriage, a.k.a. Uh, Bodhi Agora, myself, and the one true Niz. And it was going to be on open action. And it would have been on the Agora page, but uh, Bodhi Agora got, I don't know if he got sick, but uh, he couldn't do it. And Ty... He's in a place where he can't get a connection or can't use his computer or something. So so I'm here all alone with Niz and we're here to talk about Antifa. And we're 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 we're, we're here to I, I mean I, I don't I, I think this might go in other places as well. I don't know. But we're Who here. Knows? We're, you, we're, that's the thing with us is that you never really you, you, know. Right. You never where really you're know. End up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never but really know. What we're gonna be examining is the idea is Antifa complete commies or is there a nuanced view of Antifa? I am taking the position that that there is a nuanced view for Antifa, and Niz is taking the position that They're if copies. you say if you even say that there's a nuance, you're a collaborator. Team, you're a collaborator with the. You're defending commies. <laughs> that's right, right? Wouldn't you uh, say that? I'm defending commies. Right, would, right, would you, right. You're a communist apologist. I'm a communi I'm a commie Com apologist. So when you stand up and you say, "Hey, dude, I don't think he's a commie," a commie apologist. Wait, right, I'm not exactly. defending commies. I. Right. Okay, so. I think uh, you you actually you you have some stuff prepared, so I would like to hear. Would you like to defer to me right now? Is that what you're? Well, honestly, the the one of the reasons that I wanted you to open action is actually we discuss stuff like this all the time. It would have been the perfect show, and and we may still have you on. Uh, at some point, but it's but, pertinent that this but, is addressed right now. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why we're doing it now. Even, even, right. even though it's not going to be the full uh, version, because like for instance, Ty, Ty really knows Antifa, uh, and I know you'll say he doesn't if he thinks Antifa is not all commie. But Ty actually knows leaders in Antifa. He has he he knows them very well. He he knows people personally in the movement, so to speak, such as it is. It's not really a movement. Uh, so he knows, and he knows the history and, and I'm like, I, uh, you know, about an hour ago, I'm still thinking he's going to be on. I'm like, oh yeah, Ty's got this. And now I'm like, okay, what do I know about Antifa? Let's <laughs> right, see. You get floated all by yourself. A month ago, I would have said they were all <laughs> commies. Now I'm like, wait a second. I don't think that's right. true. So, so that's, that's what we have here. So I'll do my best. And Niz, you went out and you did your OCD homework. So go I ahead. did my OCG. And I've got I've got all my notes and I've got right. my notebook here and right. Uh, I've done some things. So oh wait first wait thing, wait you've done some things. Do you? I don't. I've, that's actually more I, intriguing. Yeah, hang on, let me say it in the I've right tone. Some things. I've done some things. I've done some things. <laughs> okay. So uh, go ahead. First, the first thing that I that I that I have to point out, and this is before I really even get into anything, is that uh, number one. Uh, we have two absolutely despicable groups of people. Group number one are Nazis and Ku Kluckers, okay? Despicable. Nobody's going to argue the fact that these people are absolutely 100% repugnant, okay? On the other side, you have the other group, which is uh, the Antifa and, and, and the Ancoms. Um, and the thing that I need to point out here is that one side of this is getting all of the blame for all of the violence OK, and that's not just in Charlotte. That's that's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much across the board. And it's my theory. You, you mean in, in the, the mainstream media? Yeah, the mainstream right, media right. is picking up the narrative. It's it's all the alt right. Right. And they're and, and kind they of won't, they, they won't call out Tifa by name and they're making them out to be heroes, comparing these people to. Uh, you know, my or your your grandparents that stormed the beaches in Normandy. I mean, it's absolutely absolutely friggin' ridiculous. Um, and the reason I have a theory as, as far as the reason behind this, and my that theory is, they're doing this is because the media is part of one of those groups. That's why they're doing this. Wait, the so media? I, wait, wait. I this is new. This is new. Right. Are you this, telling me that the media are commies? I am going to say that they are uh, 
You know what? I'll just go right out and say it. They they are. Yes, they are. I mean, this is they're this commies. Is, they're commies. Right? Coming. Yes, I'll just go out and make that claim. Okay. Uh, the media are communists. They're they're not calling people out for what they are. Uh, they are actively trying to shield the identity of this other of the uh, of this other group being Antifa, uh, labeling them like as if they are uh, you know heroes or something to ascribe to be uh, this this wonderful ideal of these wonderful human beings that are out there just to you know save the little guy and that's absolutely not uh, not the truth now. Before you, we started, you had, you had said that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm calling everybody. Everybody's a commie no matter everybody's what. Everybody's a commie. That's kind right. of yeah, well, how I'm a, seeing it and, being played and out, yes. The thing that I want to, that I want to say about that is that uh, there are a lot of really dumb kids out there who truthfully, they don't know what or who they're standing next to. They have no idea. So do I think that every dumb kid that's there because, you know, being part of Antifa right now is the edgy thing to do? Uh, no, I don't think that. Not every one of those dumb kids that doesn't even know what who, who they're standing next to wants to overthrow the government and replace it with a communist dictatorship. Of course not. But that doesn't mean that, you know, by and large, Antifa is not a communist movement. Oh, wait. Okay, that's interesting. I, I want to back up here for a second. I, I want to give me your definition of commie so you have something to work off of. Let's see if I agree with it, first of all. I Definition of communist? Yeah, yeah. What what is Stalinist. a commie to you? Stalinist. The guy's waving big red banners. You got a hammer and sickle tattoo. You're wearing one of those goofy berets with a chin t shirt. That's, You're that's, probably a communist. No, but that, okay, that's uh, okay. That is the fruit of what communism may produce. But what what does what is what when you say commie? What, what do you do you have to? I mean, if I wear a shea shirt, am I a commie? Well, chances are, if you're wearing a Che Guevara shirt, you're what a if, what, if, what if I have a different view of what Che was? Like, maybe I don't think that he was the guy that you... Th I'm not saying this is... I'm being... I'm totally being... I mean, no, 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 no. Well, his own words, he's a communist. Well, just, oh, yeah, just say that. Well, I'm, I'm just saying it doesn't... No, it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong. Communists. I mean... Do, no, no, it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong in this case. It's... If if if, if I'm wearing a Shea shirt, a Che... How do you... Che, Shea, whatever the... Hey, freak. Yeah, I, 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 I don't... I, I, I've been told lies about him, and I think he's something else. So when you look at me and I'm wearing a Che shirt, I'm, I might not be a communist. It's got to be something so more you, than the shirt that you wear. What does it... Okay, what kind okay. of belief do you With have to have shirt, that says that you're a communist? want to seize the means of production, wait, you are communist. So wait, so which parts are essential? Is it just that you're anti-capitalist? Because I would argue that you can be anti-capitalist and not be a commie. Of course, you'll have to then get into the definition of capitalist to... Uh, right, right, right. I mean... Uh, we, but, but what about... Um, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I'm anti-capitalist. And the way that I kind of understand the way capitalism is actually... Uh, practiced by people who uh, say that they're capitalists. They say that capitalism means a free market, but it's not. It's not. It's not in practice. Not the way these people are doing it. But but right. But no, just, not say, at all. just say I, I mean, say I'm anti-capitalist, but I don't in any way, shape, or form want to seize the means of production. I don't. I don't really. I don't want to have a dictatorship that transforms me to the workers' paradise in my economy. If you don't want say that again, please. Say okay, so I'm I'm say I'm anti I'm anti capitalist. I'm not saying I am I'm or or am or am not, but say I'm I am anti capitalist, but I don't believe in seizing the means of production and I don't believe in uh you know overthrowing the government, installing a dictatorship and getting us to the workers' paradise. I don't believe in any of that stuff. All I want is I don't like capitalism. Well, then you may or may not be. You may or may not be. I mean, I can't make a a, a, a widespread determination based off of that information. So, so if you say if you say I a lot of other. Okay, so if Go you ahead. say I might not be, then <laughs> then then are you saying that even merely like like even if I reject seizing the means of production, even if I reject violence, if I reject uh, overthrowing the government. Uh, and installing a dictatorship. Even if I reject all those things, I could still be a commie. Uh, I, you, I guess you can, you can, you can, yeah. But would I call you like, you know, are you a Marxist, Leninist? Are, 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 you know, are you a, 
Well, I know. I, I think this is important to, to, to kind of set like what it is that we're talking about. Because when, no, I when, mean, no, yeah, when you, you can... say commie, this is what I have in my head. What I have in my head is what, an, what a lot of people in Antifa call tankies. You've described what a tanky is to people in Antifa, to, to ANCOMs. And I'm not, I, I, I actually, I know a fair number of ANCOMs. I get along with a couple of them. Most of them, I do not. Okay. But, Right, because... and it's important. It's important to make this differentiation that when you're talking about ANCOMs, you're talking about anarcho-communists, which are communists. Right, right. So, but right. but I understand anarcho-communists. But when you say commie, what I am thinking is tanky. I am thinking I want statism. I want I want the full meal deal. I want what Stalin and Lenin tried. Except this time, I think I can make it work because we can pick somebody that's not going to want to hold on to power like Lenin and Stalin did. You know, they right, just right. they just got greedy. You know, they, they you know, especially <laughs> It'll Stalin. It'll work this time. It'll work it this time. Okay, right. right. To me, right. that when you say commie, that's what I think of. So when you say commie, when you refer right, and that's to Antifa applicable. As that's commie. applicable. But at the same time, I'm not going to excuse anarcho-communists from not being communists. Just because they want to try this, I mean, I. Uh, what, 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 okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care whether you excuse them or not. But if, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, please, folks, you know, if you're listening to this, I am not an ANCOM. Please, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, they want to, whether you think it'll work or not, they want to peacefully form a. A communist system. They don't want to use coercion. They don't want to go through a process of uh, seizing the means of production. They don't want to install a dictatorship. They they want to have their own place where they can peacefully uh, implode, right. which I right. think is what it would which, happen. Which, <laughs> but, so, which is so impossible those, to get to without a state. So so so, so, so those so folks. That. So those are those folks as bad as Nazis. They're equally as repugnant. Why? Equally as repugnant. How my so? View, because they are not. Pardon? How, how are the ANCOMs, the voluntary communists, if you will, how are they as bad as commie, as as Nazis? Because in order for them to have communism, they're going to necessarily have to have a state because it, it won't work. It's not going to happen. It won't work. And they said I mean, the same I, thing I about. Wanna, I want to focus this conversation not on ANCOMs, but on Antifa itself. Okay. Now, but 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 I, I, this is for to me. This is important. Now. The reason I think it's important is because there are there are many groups in Antifa. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not fully aware of all the groups and all the nuances, but I've certainly come, stumbled upon at least a, a, a few that uh, at at the very most they fit into the ANCOM category. Some of them they're they're not even ANCOM. They're they're you know they're anarcho syndicalism or some right. other. Uh, well, nobody's going to come right out. Very, very few people are going to come right out and tell you that they're a communist, especially so, if they're working so, towards communist so, ends. So basically, they know then they're going to disassociate with them as soon as they do. So you're creating a standard that even if I can show you stuff like, and I've actually seen this, like if I could show you that okay, we disavow ourselves of communism, your answer is well, they're lying. So I, I, I mean, if 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 that's well, your it's not stance, just that they're lying. I mean, show me some other things. Show me some other things. Do you support? I mean, you know, you know, you're disavowing capitalism. Or uh, you're disavowing communism, but what what are you avowing? What were you in support of? I mean, there's a lot more that goes into that just be, than besides. Well, I disavow communism. I mean, you can have a, so the guy standing next to you with a swastika armband can look at you in the face and say, "Listen, man, I'm not a Nazi. I disavow Nazism. I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a white nationalist." But there's a lot of other stuff that you can use to determine whether or not that person's actually being truthful or not. One of the things being, does he have a swastika tattooed on his forehead? So, <laughs> you know? so, so what? What I want to establish here is: Are we okay? Because if we're debating, are they commie? Like, do they believe in some some communal ownership of some sort? Uh, if that's your here, standard, here, here, here. let me. Most let, let folks me. in Antifa would fit into that. They believe in some form of communal ownership. Now, they they do allow for. For you, 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 you do have property. It, they don't. I forget what they call it. And they don't call it private property, but uh, they're they're against private property for the most part. But they're not they, for they, you. They're not for you owning your house. But they would be against <laughs> you owning your house and fifteen other houses and not doing anything with those fifteen right. other houses. Right. Uh, 
And as, as far as as far as what you, you had said earlier about uh, uh, about free market capitalism, about being anti-capitalist, uh, you had mentioned that you know the the current system that we're under, uh, and you said you know you would that you would argue that this is not capitalism. No, I would argue I, it's not the free market. I would say that I, it is capitalism it is not, as it's commonly it is not capitalism. It's cronyism. Uh, to be honest, the United States has been a socialist uh, nation now for quite a while. There's all these different socialist policies that have been enacted, and uh, it's only a facade of free market capitalism that's uh, that's remaining. And uh, that's only there so that these socialists and communists can point to it and say, look, it's a failure. Well, it's a failure because of all your socialist policies. That's why. Uh, let me just say this, Paul. Go ahead. <laughs> Liberty-minded individual, you definitely should not be associating with or defending Nazis, fascists, communists, or socialists, period. End of story. They are all equally repugnant. Uh, that's, you know, number one and number two. Uh, that's number one, I should say. And, and number two, if you're a liberty-minded individual and you find yourself in the company of Nazis, fascists, communists, or socialists, you made a wrong turn somewhere, and you should probably reverse course post-haste. Right. Except if you're defining commie as uh, anyone, even if they believe in, you know, trying to peacefully create their own little communist world, I, I, I don't have a problem with those folks. I, I think that they're doomed. Right, until I, they're standing on your lawn, until they're standing on your lawn telling you that you don't really own your, your house that you own. Then, then it's a problem. Well, it, that, that, that's a chance for, for, for everyone and everything. There's there's always a chance, no matter what group you, you hook up with, that individual, and it's always an individual choice, that individuals within that group will decide for one reason or another, I'm going to do, so I'm going to take your property. So there's always that chance. So it's called self-defense, it's called being prepared. It's calling, you know, having a, having a good network of friends that will look out for you. I don't, I don't fundamentally distrust voluntary communists uh if you want to call them you know voluntary communists i i don't think that they have a system that's going to work but hey go go ahead uh have at it buddy uh and and if and when they decide that they're going to show up at my doorstep i'm i'm going to be prepared for them now statist commies that's another matter altogether i have i have i i don't trust them i don't I don't associate with them. I don't get near them. And I do think that you do have one valid point. And I wish Ty was on here because I really would like to ask him this question too. And that is when, when, when you show, you showed a picture of uh, Antifa marching and they were holding an actual, they were holding up the Antifa signs and behind them, you could see a commie flag. Listen, I'm just going to say, I agree with you here. If you're flying the hammer and sickle, that to me is a, you've gone too far. I don't want to be in that march with you. I don't want to associate with you anymore because to me, the hammer and sickle is absolutely at least as abhorrent as the Nazi symbol. And right, really, if, if we're right. going to get into body count, the hammer and sickle yeah, is they worse. Got, they got it hands down. So, right, so, right. so that's when I, I, I do, I don't believe that it would be. I mean, I, I wish I had Ty on here because he now he, to be I would to be really absolutely to clear, what he say, but I couldn't be, walk with the, with the hammers to, and the sickles. To be absolutely clear on that, okay, when I say that you should not find yourself in that company, that's exactly what I mean. Uh, I do not mean that they should be silenced. I don't believe anyone should be silenced. I think the the issue that we have here uh, is not an issue that uh, of of needing less speech. It's an issue of needing more speech, and this is a direct result of people trying to silence other people. I want to hear your terrible ideas. I want other people to be able to hear your terrible ideas. Well, well, this is why I chafe at you. This is why when you are uh, – because I understand when people say commie, whatever you mean, I understand in the in the – in the broader spectrum, when you see hear the word commie, you're absolutely thinking of statist, unapologetic communists who, 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 who will absolutely advocate for a violent overthrow of the government, for an installation of a dictatorship to get them to the workers' paradise. And, and that is not how all of Antifa believes. 
and there are within Antifa. If you go, you just go go to their boards and 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 watch the tankies go go against the ancoms and the syndicalists and how they're ripping at each other. And and I mean the the the, the syndicalists, the mutualists, the ancoms, they don't trust the statist commies. Now, right, okay, so and and now here, this is this is where it becomes absolutely crucial to understand the history. Okay, so let's look at where all of this first started. And, and, and where it started was during World War II in Germany and uh, across the Mediterranean, uh, fascism had taken hold. And at the same time, fascism had a competing ism. And that competing ism was communism. It was two groups of communists. Or I, sh it was, I should say it was groups of communists, not two groups, but groups of communists in Europe that started the anti-fascist movement. And uh, Antifa became the official ideolo uh, ideology of Stalinist parties. Then there was this resurgence during the, the 90s. Now, they've never actually gone away because you can see all the, you know, you can go back through throughout all the decades and see all of these black bloc protesters and, and, and whatnot that uh, have carried the uh, uh, anti-fascist banner throughout all the decades in between. But they had a really big resurgence uh, in the 1990s after the Berlin, uh, Berlin Wall was torn down. And again, at that time, it was communists sporting the name of Antifa. Uh, who would then fight against what they saw was right-wing fascism. And while these groups were fighting fascism, they weren't fighting it for freedom. They wanted to, to, to replace fascism with communism. Now it's 2017, and Antifa groups are back in the limelight again. But this time, people want me to believe that unlike the Antifa groups before them, this time they're not communists, even though they took the same name, carry the same banners, they fight with the same tactics. Uh... So yeah, you know, like it, 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 the, the, those groups, even in 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 World War II, you had many. E, even back then, you you had many groups. I, I mean, again, Ty, Ty, dude, dude, he knows this right. history. But primarily, but, but but primarily, they were Stalinists. I'm not sure if that's true. I don't know where you're getting that information well, from. I'm getting that from I'm getting that from historians and history books, man. Well, we all know we all know historians and histor history books uh, have told us a lot of things. Like, for instance, I remember when I went to school, and they talked about the uh, the the Tulsa the Tulsa uh, race riots of uh, 1921, uh, and how you know that the 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 the, the black. Uh, basically they were the 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 black upper class of upper class in america and how uh newspapers uh fabricated a story about a black person raping a white person and then basically what ended up happening was the white community around them totally nuked them i remember how history books told me that and oh no they didn't so that's right right but this is also you know four decades later when we were in high school I'm 20 years old, so what? <laughs> Two years ago? <laughs> right, 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 right. And it's, Two years this ago! Is getting, this information here is getting, It's not from one This is fake uh, news, right? This second. Uh, okay, it's not okay. from one single source. Okay. This is from now, one. now, in fairness, I don't have a full... I, I don't know the full history of uh, of Antifa. I can't... I'm not going to take your word for it. Uh, I would. I would definitely have to investigate for myself... Uh, right, and, but I, but I encourage you to to do so. I I definitely encourage you. Don't listen to what I'm saying and take it as the uh, as the word of God. Look into it for yourself. The big thing that I would caution you against, however, is taking their word for it. Well, actually, because I'm not taking anybody's it, word for it. I am looking into it, and and in in looking at some of the groups, I'm like. Okay, this does not fit into statist antifa. However, I find okay, the Democrat Socialists of America. Okay, I just want to say for the record, I'm not going on any march with the Democrat Socialist of America. I'm staying as far away as I can from the Democrat Socialist of America because there's no doubt who and what they are. They are they're absolutely the commies. Now, now in in like, you know, the the red scare commie kind of way. My point with you, when you talked earlier about, okay, you want to have conversations. Well, you are actually, I believe you're cutting off conversation because there are things that the right side, if you want to, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just using American terminology here. We all understand the arbitrary nature of, of those words, right and left. Right, but, at the but, scale. Exactly. Right, right. But there are, there are things that the right side can learn from the, quote, unquote, the left side. There are things, there are issues that folks on the, quote, unquote, left are exploring that the right has not, and, and vice versa. I'm not saying you're all going to come to like some understanding, but I think that there is something that can be learned from one another, even if it's like the spaces to let each other do what they're going to do. Now, when I say that, I am only talking about groups that fundamentally reject the coercive enterprise path, that, that both these groups see have no... There's no part of their plan where they're, even if they're going to temporarily form a coercive enterprise, that there's, if you have that in your plan, you're not part of this group that I'm talking about. You are, you're, you're blocked <laughs> immediately. I'm severing all ties. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not even going down there. But there are a lot of folks within this Antifa group, and I don't pretend to know, like, okay, is Antifa, like, is it 60% commie? Is it 40% commie? I don't know. All I'm saying is that there is a at least a significant portion of Antifa who are not commie, like state is right, so commie. Then, so, then, so then why, why, take, why take the moniker, the symbols, the tactics – of a group that has historically I believe, been I be, communist. I, Why do that? It's like saying, listen, it's like saying, you know, I, hey, I'm listen. Not sure I, that, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm the, that you have the I'm part actual of the puppy killer. origins of those symbols. I'm part of the puppy killers group. I'm part of this new puppy killers group, okay? And for the last 80 years, the puppy killers have bashed in puppies' heads with baseball bats. That's what they've been doing. But let me just tell you. And I, I'm, I am a puppy killer, and I'm in the puppy killer groups, and we use the same tactics, and we use the same, uh, the same symbology, and the exact same name. But I, but trust me, brother, I'm not a puppy killer. Right? Okay, I'm not going to believe that guy. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm, I'm not going to believe that guy. If so, then why did you choose to use? That name, that symbology, those tactics. That, why not, if if, not, if what you're saying you. is right, but I don't, and I, you know, I. You you have you have stuff that I I mean I, I I don't have so I can't fully say to you oh you're wrong uh, I know uh, well Ty is watching right now and he did comment but all he said was they are they were not Stalinist but I I have definitely I don't remember the specifics and I would I would uh, I would uh, I would encourage the folks that may be listening to this to check it out for yourselves the origins of the symbols may not mean what be what you think they are uh, there's a lot of argument that the origins of the symbols <laughs> right and it's right well, and it's no, that, that they were they were they were originally they were originally they were originally from the anarchists and then the communists co-opted them even uh, i've seen i've seen these d debates before now i don't know if anybody's convinced me of, of a right or wrong answer but i've seen these debates before where the anarchists say no the red was from us and you co-opted the red uh, i i uh, so so e w w the degree to which that is true or not anarchists could take up those symbols and not be standing for communists because in their eyes and their minds no no these are our symbols and you co-opted them from us whether that's true or not i mean I, I i know i don't know but i i do know that i don't think that antifa begins in world war ii i thought it had histories before then pretty sure that there were antifa elements certainly or, or, well when you say you mean actually in the 30s and uh yeah, yeah, okay. during, during, yes, yes. Okay, so you're leading, I mean, leading up to World War II. Okay, never mind. Leading up to World right. War II, correct. Right. And, right. and if you, if you, if you take a step back and you, you know, like I said about, about the media being complacent in, in all of this. Oh, oh we never uh, got to that. I'm interested Antifa, in this. Right, not mentioning Antifa by name. Okay, not, not calling out the violence uh, from Antifa. Uh, now, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. There have been uh, 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 instances um, where, Antifa groups have been called out for violence. I mean, we saw that in in uh, in Berkeley uh, and and of course in some uh, some other places. But even then, the media was very hesitant to label that as Antifa. Uh, they would call them, you know, protesters or whatever, yada yada yada, so on and so on. And uh, if you if you look back at the way that these uh, communist groups have worked in the past, is the exact it's the exact same way. They they get put in a position where they're the hero, they're the good guy. OK, uh, they co-opt and dupe all these, uh, you know, walking zombies 
uh, into, you know, raising a fist with them and, and being pals with them. And then when everything is all said and done and, and left over, what you're left with is a communist wasteland uh, because they've tricked and, and shenaniganed and shanghaied their way uh, into all of these prominent positions uh, because they were labeled and heralded as the heroes. The one time that that was an exception was in uh, Nazi Germany, and that's because they were friggin' eradicated. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make a uh, tie is saying here that uh, one of the arrows, you know, in the Antifa, you have the three arrows. Uh, one of the arrows out of the three literally stands for anti Bolshevism. They're actually against that's that's part of the Antifa symbol is actually against anti Bolshevism, statist communism. Right. So then, why are there mar why are there people uh, tagging along with these Antifa groups? Flying the hammer and sickle. I mean, would, that, would that's, you? That's a question that I would like to ask. Right, listen, Ty, that's like that's like that, talking to me that, about Clayton. That's an issue that that is. I am. I would absolutely not be comfortable. I don't care. You're not a useful ally if you're a if you're a commie, like a status commie. You're not a useful ally to me. Well, and, and not even you, that. And not because I know it's, it's, I know that you're going to kill me soon. Listen, if, if and not only that, but if if Antifa stands against Bolshevism and that's one of the arrows on their flag, why are these goofy Bolsheviks flying hammer and sickles walking right behind them? What that doesn't even it, it makes absolutely zero sense. None it makes no sense whatsoever. Now here here's another. Well, for for me, let me the 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 trigger that I have to to your approach is. I have an issue with words. I have an issue with labels that are are broadly defined, especially labels that are that are dehumanizing. And kami is most assuredly a dehumanizing word. And on the other side, Nazi is a dehumanizing word. So what so so what I see going on, there are actual Nazis that deserve condemnation. There are actual commies that deserve condemnation. And those words are being broadly hurled out. And I fully believe that same media that you say is in the tank for Antifa. They're, they're, they're Antifa, whatever they are, they may be a, a useful tool right now. But in the end, the, the Antifa, the element that is actually anarchist, yeah, the, no, no, they're, they're, their days are numbered if, 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 uh, if the media and whoever's pulling their uh, strings uh, have their way. But what's happening right, and here that goes, and, and, and what, paul that goes that goes back to my point earlier when i said uh you know that there, there's a lot of really dumb kids out there who truthfully don't know what it is and and the other uh, yeah, the other standing next to well sometimes they don't even know that there's a flag behind them because they're marching forward these it's not like these events are like they're they're not really really uh, terribly uh, organized for all of the groups that are, especially well, you know what happened in uh, in what, what what the frick is uh, here's here's a perfect example. Well, of well, wait, wait, wait! I'm not done. I want to make a point here first, and 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 the essential point that I want to get to is that what is happening right now. This is why I'm triggered by all of this. Is I see something that's far more threatening than communists and Nazis. Uh, don't get me wrong. If communists and Nazis ever had any real power, I would be FU'd. Seriously, FU'd. Either side, I am a dead man. But they're not really the ones that have any real power in America. And what is going on right now is the media, the culture, all of the powers that be are beginning to whip people up to a frenzy where you are able to put the other person into a category of subhuman because they are preparing us to be be willing to hurt and kill our right, neighbor. Right, right, right. And that's that's a good point. That's a good point that, that you're making, Paul. And and part of the reason why I take the stance that I'm taking right now is because you have you have a com you have a complicit, not complacent, complicit media that is pushing people. And you see this happening. Look at what's going on. on look at what has been going on on Facebook over the past week. You've got people picking. Nazis and communists are fighting each other, and people are picking sides. The, in the meantime, there's a deep state standing there in the background, and that deep state is going is uh, uh, is is standing there in the background, and the deep state is saying, 
What do I do, Lord? Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. I mean, that's... that's well, well, yeah, that's that's is, that is what's going on. And, and I think that your narrative is kind of helping them. That's what I believe. I believe it, the... But it's, no, see, to, I, to I, me, I, to me I the believe. narrative is, dude... You, you you can't sugarcoat the people that are alt right, and, and actually, even if you look at the alt right, the, the news people, media, the news media, I don't is care about the news media. They're portraying anti. You have to because this is where most well, people. I don't think you know what I'm going to say. I don't think you that's know what where I'm most people say. form their opinion from. And I the, and the news I, media. I anti I don't believe. Is, I don't believe that the news media treatment of Antifa is the right treatment. I believe that you should look at Antifa. I mean, Antifa is a word. It describes, uh, I mean, it, it means anti-fascist, and people fly the symbol. Some people understand it more than others, and there are disparate groups. There's, there's, there's no Antifa leader. There's no really uniting Antifa ideology even. It's pretty disparate. So when you say Antifa, what you're really saying what you're really describing are a whole bunch of groups that are composed of individuals. So right. you well, now, look now at listen, the individual, say, you, not the collective that they belong to. And now, would you uh, say the same thing as people who have been labeled alt right? Would you say the same yes, thing as them? Absolutely. Not alt -right are absolutely. Not I'm saying the same thing about the alt right. That there okay, are many the people, media, even but people the media that have is a, not. I'm not. I'm not the media. I'm not talking to the media. When I'm talking to the crowd here, I'm saying, look, look, look with a critical eye at 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 at, at what's going on. Be aware right, no. of the reality of power around you. If the media is telling you that, you know, if they're giving a really soft shoe version of Antifa, maybe you should look harder at Antifa. If they're giving you a totally demonizing view of alt-right, maybe you should look at the alt-right with a critical eye because you're going to find that there are, first of all, there are people that have called themselves alt-right, a lot of people that are now disavowing themselves and they're like, hey, man, at this point, Whatever we thought alt right was, it is. We can't argue. The word has come to mean white supremacy. We're out, right, and, and that's but, because why? Why? Why did that happen? Why is that? Why is it that way? Be, because the left what, what is using. Because the left is using alt right to attack anyone who isn't in the left. I fully understand that. Right. That's why I don't. I I I I do it for 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 both sides. I look at both sides and I say, hey, wait, wait, you can't say everyone on the alt-right is Nazi. You but can't what's say what's everyone that's, in that's Antifa you. Is, is communist. You, that's you. Is, that's is, one person. You're in a very, very, very small minority. What's happening right now is that the exact opposite of what you're doing is happening on a widespread scale. So, so when I'm speaking, I am here. not going to I am I am not going to enforce the demonizing narrative on either side. I am going to talk and and say, hey, let's look critically at all, at all the groups. All, well, you can't look at all the groups, but but look at the groups. Look at the individuals. If an individual comes up to you and says, I am a member of the alt right, I am immediately very concerned, and I'm going to ask questions and find out a little bit more. I have people on my friends list who have proclaim themselves to be alt-right that are still my friends. And I have people who proclaim to be alt-right that are no longer on my friends list because when I started talking to them more, I began to realize, no, no, they actually buy into uh, race realism and white nationalism and white supremacy. And like, I don't have time for them. And I've had the same conversation even with uh, ANCOMs where – uh, I, I, I've had a, a, a fair amount of conversations with ANCOMs where if you scratch below the surface, guess what? They really are for violence, but but not all of them. <laughs> and and I'm not saying that, you know, if you dig deeper, you won't find, but I can say that about <laughs> yeah, anyone. No I can but... say that about you. I can say that if I dig deeper, I may find something about you that, that reveals that deep down you're an advocate for violence. You can say the same thing about me. Uh, an sure, you're talking about you're talking about look, approaching look at, this from look, a rational perspective. Yes. But look at last week; no one is being rational. I spent the last week saying, "Look, Nazis and communists are both absolutely repugnant, and you should not be uh, associating with either group because they are disgusting pieces of human filth." And I have communists calling me a Nazi, and Nazis calling me a communist 
for saying, and these are people that are in the liberty community. People well, that before, I don't think that's uh, how you said it, though. It was going to come down between Nazis and communists, which I never thought would happen in a million years. Well, what but I saw, what I saw you this. say, what I saw you say wasn't the Nazis and the commies. It was the Nazis and the Antifa. So I, yeah, like me, I reacted to you. I was like, "Whoa, what do you mean Antifa? Why are you labeling all of Antifa with this really demonizing, uh, <laughs> because, dehumanizing because all of the protests label. they've had up until Charlotte have been punching? They punching an old they uh, pepper sprayed an old man. They punched those the are individuals that have acted. Windows, That's not all of Antifa. Cards. That's not all They're of Antifa. All now, because they faced off against – that was Antifa by themselves, just Antifa, when they were going to Trump uh, MAGA protests or, or MAGA rallies, and they were harassing Trump supporters because, of course, every Trump supporter is a, is a fascist, of course. Right, and, they, and they, I, by the way, I don't, I don't go went, down that road either. Now because they went to Charlotte and they, fe they faced off against actual Nazis with actual – now all of a sudden they're heroes, and that's ridiculous. Right. Uh, no, I, I, I agree – where you say that everyone I'm, should take a breath and take a step back and examine both of these groups uh, through the lens of, of reason and sanity instead of uh, you know this 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 uh, lunacy with painting people with a, a very broad brush. Charlottesville, there were people, there were many groups there that were on the right, many groups, not just Nazis, not just Ku Kluckers, not just white nationalists. There were many groups that were there. Uh, there were people that were there that were just protesting, taking down this uh, the statue of uh, Robert E. Lee uh, in Charlottesville, and uh, they're being painted with a with a broad brush as they're you know, if you were fo oh God, you better look out if you were photographed there. If someone has a photograph there where they can identify your face, you're getting kicked out of your apartment, you're losing your job, families are are disavowing and disowning people for ju just for their face. Being there, and in the meantime, you have this other group of people that are being held up and compared to your grandfather who stormed the beaches of freaking Normandy. Which and is to me, which is asinine because right. absolutely. And what I mean, I, I, I mean, I've seen a, a few people. I, I'm not originating this uh, uh, analogy at all, although I thought of it before I saw it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you're you're talking in in. Uh, uh, a state that has seized land against a sovereign state. If you're if you're into the whole statism stuff, no, I'm not, and you're not. But uh, so you're talking about uh, soldiers confronting armed soldiers who have have, have ta who've already uh, uh, taken aggression, uh, as compared to Antifa. Now, and I, and I really, and I, and this is a show, you know, Ty, I think you're, I know you're listening because you just commented, and this is a, this is a conversation that I definitely want to have with you, Ty, whether it's on this show or another show, and that is the one part of Antifa that really bothers me is, uh, as much as I hate Nazis, like actual Nazis, and I would love to see Nazis get clocked, you, you show me the proof that meeting Nazis in the streets that are talking with violence actually stops them i don't believe it does and i believe that you set a precedent for the whole community that now everybody that that's what they're gonna do they're you know because because what's violent to me is what's not you know what i mean what what, what is a, a pre-med you know you you have an ideology that is fundamentally a threat to me so therefore I can punch you. It's it's a it's a it's a road that I I'd rather not go around. Right, it, it it comes down it comes down to a matter of uh, do you believe in free speech? And I see a lot of libertarians uh, taking flack right now um, because they are standing up for the idea of free speech. Who is violent? Who is not violent? Wait, if who, you are who, not wait, violent, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed that. Who's standing up for free speech? Okay. I see a lot of there's libertarians that are standing oh, up okay. uh, and taking the free speech stance. Uh, on on this whole uh, uh, you know debacle that happened out in Charlottesville, um, and and they're getting hammered on. Uh, they're getting hammered on. They're they're being labeled as uh, Nazi sympathizers, Nazi apologists, uh, and, and and I don't think that that's uh, I, I don't think that that's uh, a correct. Uh, I, I don't think that it's right to do that. Basically, uh, I, I, mean, I, I I'll be honest with you. If I really believed that the Nazis were about ready to take over, and even if they were just speaking, 
and I knew, uh, you know, I was pretty pretty convinced that if you just let this thing grow, that they're going to, that they're going to, they're going to kill a lot of people. I I actually would. I would punch a Nazi. I my my. Yeah, but they're not. It's this. No, we're, ta we're talking. My belief is that they don't have any real power, <laughs> and that right, no. and that going after them violently is not going to effectively stop. I mean, them. listen. You're actually times... going to raise their their numbers. You're actually right. going to times... do. You're going to hurt your cause. How many times in the past have there been these uh, uh, these clan rallies and stuff like that that have gone on? And for the for the large large part, people just ignored them. And then what did you have? You had you know uh, Nazism uh, is incredibly unpopular in America. What's that? It's incredibly unpopular in America. Nazism is incredibly unpopular in America. You, right. You, and you so see, you see, you know, you see how like, easy it is. It's like these these co these companies they're acting like heroes because you know they're lopping Christopher Cantwell all over. It's because they know they have like ninety nine percent of the support of the country. It's like, right, oh yeah, Nazis. Easy. Yeah, pretty much, pretty <laughs> right. easy call. Okay. Now, what's no, sad is that should be the same reaction for statist commies. Should right. be the same freaking react. You should be able to go after statist commies in the same way, but you actually have congressmen that 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 are you know they have chairman whatever they have they're, they're, they have con uh, statist commie congressmen. That's what you have in America, right? It's and see the <laughs> issue here. The issue here is that the left is calling out the right and saying you need to disavow all of these racists and Nazis. And the the right is recoiling and saying, "Oh, we disavow them! We disavow them! Oh my God!" And and the, the, nobody's calling out the left, saying, "Hey, but what about those people right over there that are in your group that are flying the hammer and sickle flag?" Yeah, that's Why an are, issue. I, yeah, I agree. I have this that. What's that? No, I agree. That's an issue. That's right. I, I mean, and that <clears throat> this is part of the reason why I'm taking this stance is because if if the if the left. OK, if the left and left minded people, if you know, if you want to call them left libertarians or, or, or whatever you want to whatever label you want to self identified on left for the most part. Yeah, right, the self identified left want to take this stance that uh, anybody who doesn't agree with them is a Nazi or a Ku clucker or a racist. I mean, you know, we have that uh, we had that troll that uh, I had. As a matter of fact, I actually just recently blocked that troll. Oh, uh, you did? Danny? actually talked. Talking yeah. about Danny? Uh, you no. finally gave him the old heave ho. I gave him the old heave ho a long time ago. I like I, I put up with him for a little while and until I started to realize, no, you're just a freaking statist commie. You just because, don't want to face it. Right. I'm I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a quote unquote racist Trump supporter. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't support any politicians at all none zero zippo zilch uh and uh, but what i do is i i will try the best i can to stand on the side of truth wherever it is apparently clear uh and and i, I just can't tolerate it anymore and what's happening here is that the right is being uh, forced into this position where it's uh, you have to disavow something even if you've never you know uh even if you've never uh, 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 held it up as some sort of an ideal, you're being forced. It's like I have to. You ha I have to wake up in the morning every morning, and the first thing I have to do is get on Facebook and type out, "I am not a Nazi." You don't mean you because you're not the right. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. My 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 opinions and my views often get labeled as the to to the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I get I get labeled a Nazi. I get labeled a commie. I get labeled a Trump supporter. I get labeled a. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, an Obama supporter, depending on who I'm talking to. But you know, I've never felt the the need to uh, have to come on Facebook and declare anything. <laughs> I don't give a crap. Uh, I think I that that's my attitude. I I I understand the game that's being played. I'm not going to play along with it, and I'm not going to play along with. I am not going to enable what I think is a far far more of a threat than the commies and the nazis and that is whoever's whatever's going on behind that curtain whoever's pulling the freaking levers and i believe there's there may be some instability there i'm not 100 percent sure but whoever's doing that that is where the threat is for me and i see that as i it, what my belief what i believe is going on is i believe that the owners and managers of this coercive enterprise need a reset and they are they're aggressively pushing everybody else 
to to come to violence, whether it's right, for it's, an all round civil for... war or to just, but they need a reboot. So I am not going to help them. I am not going to go around lobbying commie and Nazi epithets at people. I will like if I know for sure an individual, and I'm going to say an individual, or or if a group uh, openly says that they're commie statist. Okay, they have to openly say it for me. Even and they might be lying. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with trying to figure out who's lying. But if they openly say that they're commies, they openly say that they're white supremacists. The individuals openly uh, test to believe these things. Those people, I'm gonna call Nazis and commies. Everybody else, I'm gonna be like, no. I need to know more. See, I'm not and, doing and, it. And and my take on this is that I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to be forced into taking picking a side. I'm not going. I'm to. not picking any sides. Uh, I'm my, not going to. I my my I'm side that I'm side. picking is, I I don't even think I can make a difference. But you know what? I'm still, you know, it's it's kind of the the Stoics way. You know, you know that you control very little in your life, and the 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 small areas that you can control, you try to to maximize your excellence in the area that you can control. Right. right. So the area and that see, I my, can my... control is I can manifest a spirit, if you will. Of 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 non demonization. I'm not saying that I I'm I can be triggered and I can do things, but but to to to, to the degree to which I I can to the degree to which I am acting more on my long term preference as opposed to my short term preference, which often just is, it wants some immediate flash of emotion satisfied. I right. I intend on reflecting uh, uh, non dehumanization as as much as right. possible. Right. See, and, and here, 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 here. This is this is my issue right now with, and and this is with the liberty community in particular. Okay, is that you? When I step out and I say Nazis are bad, all Nazis are garbage. Okay, everyone will c comes out and says, "Yeah, right on, man. Exactly. All Nazis are trash." And then when I say all communists are garbage. All communists are trash. There are libertarians that step forward and say, well, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute, man. No, no, there is no wait a minute. There is exactly both groups, Nazis and communists, are garbage. They are yeah. garbage. And if you're going to say, no, wait a minute, man, not all these people are, are communists, then you need to step forward and say, Hey, wait a minute, man. Not all these people are Nazis. And if you're not doing that, I've, I have a real big problem. Yeah, I've, I've done that. Then I'm going to call you a commie. That's when you're a communist apolo uh, uh, apologist. Is at that point right there when you say, right on, all those Nazis are garbage. And I say, yeah, and the communists are trash too. And you say, well, wait a minute, man. What you're not really all communists saying, are communists. I, I, I don't know. See, what I'm seeing from you uh, and how we ended up here is – you're not saying all commies are bad. You're saying Antifa are all commies. That's where I'm reacting to you. If you were to say oh, the alt right are are all all uh, all Nazis, my response to you, mm, I don't know. It, it would be, uh, I don't think that everybody who called themselves alt right is uh, a Nazi. I would say at this point, though. And, and and I understand how it's been engineered, but reality is reality. The the, the that word alt right it absolutely means white supremacist now at this point. But but so if you're holding on to the word alt right, I'm like ninety percent sure you're probably an actual Nazi. There could be a chance, so I may still have a conversation with you to figure out. Maybe you'll say, listen, man, I don't care how alt-right started. I know what alt-right became, and I still think it's good, and I want to hold on to it. And I don't believe, okay, I may be still have a conversation with you. But so far, the people that I've talked to, at least, with the alt-right, when they, when they hold on to alt-right, it comes out. No, no, right, and that's exactly. This is exactly what needs to happen to Antifa. The exact same thing needs to happen to the Antifa. Exact it needs to be put into a. Pardon? Well, okay, never mind. I thought you were saying something else. Go ahead. No, that, that that's the exact same thing that needs to happen to Antifa. The exact same thing. Otherwise, otherwise, you are giving the left a foothold and letting the left put you into a position. Um, where they can accuse you of anything. They can accuse you of anything just for disagreeing with them. The left needs to be put into the exact same position. If they're going to take Antifa and hold them up as like, here, these are our heroes. Right here, these are our heroes. Yay for Antifa. Then the same thing needs to happen to Antifa where that word, that name, that moniker 
that designation needs to be put in the same exact category as the alt right has been put into. Why does it? Why does it need to? Just because it was done to the alt right uh, phrase, why does it need to be done to? I, I I don't get the logic there. Why does if 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 it happened to one word, it happens to ha has to happen to another word? I don't it, I don't and see. It, no, it absolutely it absolutely does. It why? Absolutely does. You can think of this as like a. You can. Th I'm I'm a pro now. You know, Paul, right? I'm an abolitionist. Okay. I, right. I don't. I'm not a statist. Okay. I'm yeah, not. No, no, I, I know that. Yes. I'm not an alt writer. Well, right. I'm, I'm saying this because it's the first time I'm on this show. So I want everyone who's listening to understand this that I'm not an alt writer. Uh, I'm not a member of Antifa. I'm not a member of any of these groups. I don't have a horse in this race. I don't have a horse in this race. But I do think that it's, it's wildly unfair. Wildly unfair. Uh, so it's at that point where I really feel like I need to step up and I need to say something. Uh, so as as far as you know, you asked why does it need to be like that? Is because you, if you're looking at this from a status perspective, you can see that this is very very clearly a tug of war that is occurring here. There's a big giant mud pit, and a rope is suspended above that mud pit. And on one side you've got the left, and on the other side you've got the right. And what's happening right now is that the left has drug the right straight into that mud pit, and they're scrambling to get out. They're scrambling to get out. That's why everybody is. You know, disavowing this and disavowing, even though they never came forward and said that that was something they supported in the first. Freaking Mitt, look at Mitt Romney. Who the hell even cares about Mitt Romney? Cowards, Wait. cowards, cowards. They're, they're, wow, we lost Niz. We lost Niz. We lost Niz. So when when you come back, Niz, uh, I'm going to tell you what I think is going on just, as far as I just stood up so I can get my Mitt Romney. Okay, ball. you needed to do that. Mitt Romney was gone, and nobody even gave a shit about Mitt Romney. Nobody cared about Mitt Romney. And then all of a sudden, here I comes Mitt Romney. Here he comes right now, and he tries to make himself relevant by saying, <clears throat> Clearly one side is worse than the other. Nazis are so bad. The, Mitt Romney there, okay? I understand. Right. It's and ridiculous. This, this crap is ridiculous. When, when well, it, it's because, it's because the, dude, it's because the Republican leadership is at the establishment. Republican leadership are part of the same machine. Okay. So, so nobody's surprised there. I do want to say, though, I, I, I actually have seen, so, so what I tend to see from the Liberty community, I tend to see groups that, they will absolutely, they're doing to Antifa what you say the left is doing to alt-right. And they're defending alt-right, but they're not, they're actually doing the double standard in reverse. And then I see it the other way around too. I don't see many people that are looking at both sides with a critical eye and saying, okay, who are you? What do you really believe? Oh, you're Antifa. Okay, you're evil. Oh, you're alt-right. Oh, you're Nazi. Uh, that's... That's the approach that most people are taking in, and I think that they're they're being played for Charles. But this is what I, I – this is kind of what I believe is actually emerging here in America. And when I say this, I want to make it clear that I do not believe that actual commies and actual Nazis have any real power in America today. I believe that the numbers of – well, actually, I'll say actual commies have way more power – than actual Nazis do. And actually, I, I will, I'll, I'll stand corrected. I don't think Antifa has any real power. But actual commies, they are in all of your major institutions. They are your news media. They are your politicians. Actual commies have real power. So let me, let me, let me say, right. actual Nazis do not. Actual Nazis have no <laughs> real power in America today. But what I see... Uh, what I see is is the United States of America has this schizophrenic ideology of, uh, on one hand, it has individual liberty, and on the other hand, it has nationalism. And nationalism is very collectivist, and individual liberty is not. But um, obviously, it's not collectivist by its very uh, uh, definition. So what, what you have, I believe, uh, the United States of America... Is 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 big. Well, not beginning for a while. It has shifted way further away from individual liberty, and it's now pretty much collectivist. But there's two types of collectivism that the United States of America is struggling with, and one of the collectivisms is Republican collectivism. I'm just going to call it that. Republican collectivism. This is 
the hero collectivism. This is and and hero collectivism. It, it, it has a place for the myth of individual liberty to exist. Not, not that individual liberty is, exi uh, is a myth, but the myth that you actually believe in individual liberty for it to exist. It's, it's a hero collectivism that you, you have great leaders and great thinkers and great doers and great innovators that you have to, you have to unshackle uh, the world around them so that these great leaders can drive and, and bring the rest of the people, whoever's left, uh, into the greater, awesome, national collectivist good. And screw the weak. If you're weak and you can't go along, screw the weak. And then you have on the other side, you have the healer collectivist, the, the, the Democrat collectivist. And these are the folks that believe the fundamental thing is to lift up the weakest of the weak and to bring parity between the two so that the whole... The whole and and they, they they tend to they don't think in terms of, of of the nation so much as they think of in terms of the whole world. They're internationalist in their worldview, so they 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 believe in bringing the the weak up at at the sacrifice of the great. So what you see on the streets here, even though the the Nazis don't have any real power, they do reflect a certain hero collective. And the 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 antifa don't have any real power. The the, the state is commies do. Uh, they 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 this battle that you see and why people are picking this antifa alt right. None of those terms really apply actually to what's really going on. And 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 the plain fact of the matter is that you and I are surrounded. Ninety five plus percent of the people around us are fundamentally whether they believe they're for individual liberty or not whether the constitutionalist almost all of them they are very much in a collectivist mindset and honestly that's that's not a world that that is good for me no matter who wins no it's it's it it's authoritarianism versus authoritarianism exactly and uh what I, what this is one of the things that i find absolutely repulsive uh is the fact that you have you know these people that are in the liberty community that are now choosing between authoritarianism flavor A, we'll call it a vanilla authoritarianism, or strawberry authoritarianism. And uh, I think that's absolutely repulsive. I think both of these groups need to be disavowed. Both of these groups need to be pushed back under the rocks they came out from under. They need to go away. One of the biggest things, Paul, one of the biggest things is that these clowns, whether no matter what side it's on, not, neither of them are going to make anything any better. If anything, the actions of both sides, whether it's the alt-right or Antifa, are going to make things worse. Because the more that they face off against each other, the more violence that we see from both of these groups, the average sleepwalking zombie is going to beg the government to make this shit stop. And as the violence spreads and property damages increase, people are going to beg for more government by supporting either one of them, the alt right or anti or, or Antifa, you're gonna you're basically admitting that you're okay with an increase in authoritarian policies because that's gonna be the end result. So if that's what you're looking at, that you're gonna support one of these two groups, congrats because you're working counterproductive to the cause of liberty and you're acting as an apologist for one of these groups of low IQ useful idiots. You're acting as an apologist. Uh, run that last part by me again. Then you're acting as an apologist. No, no. What, 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 what is the condition that you're acting as an apologist? I was sharing. If you support either one, if you're listen, if if by supporting either the alt right or Antifa, you're basically admitting that you're okay with an increase in authoritarian policies because that's going to be the end result of violence. Is going to be an increase in authoritarian policies. See, that's what the end game is. See. I would argue, and you'll make me an apologist. I would argue. I'm not gonna. Uh, well, you, 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 you probably will, and that's okay. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I would argue that you can say that about alt right because uh, uh, I don't. Well, I won't say completely, but I, I say. What the, violence have they committed? The, the anarchist. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about where they're going to lead to, uh, whether they are, are, are pushing the violence or not. I don't pretend to know. I. Uh, well, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, from the alt right side, I see very little anarchists amongst them. I mean, I definitely do see some, 
uh, and and those anarchists actually happen to be advocating for state uh, uh, aggression. So are they anarchists? I don't know. On the Antifa side, I see I see actual anarchists. So I can't say that. If you want to say if you're advocating for for state communism versus and and you know like maybe alt right isn't the word. It's not alt right. It's the Nazis. It's the uh, you know the the neocons, the Nazis. Are you not that neocons are Nazis? They're not. But I'm saying that's that's kind of that that group. They don't. They, there are a lot of things they disagree with, but but they're they're the the hero collective. Uh, yeah, I, I I would agree with you, but but I can't I can't agree with you if you say Antifa, because I and and hey I <laughs> most listen I'm, the anarchist I mean, maybe community a month is a from small, now, I'll, tiny itty bitty little insignificant sliver. They're not of the in entire Antifa. population. But they're in Antifa, they're a significant portion in Antifa. Right, 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 right. But from the outside looking in, the average guy that just well, got done the working average at the factory. Guy, you know what the average guy is seeing? The average guy is seeing what happened in Charlottesville. And they're and and and, and the media's not doing this, but they're they're on the social media, so they see it. Antifa versus all right. I mean, the percentage of people there is as, as near as I could tell based on what I've seen. There's there's probably about three to five thousand people on the counter protester side. Of those three to five thousand, maybe three to five hundred were actually part of the Antifa coalition. The, most of them were like they're like Democrats and and uh, they're they're the leftist leaning. Uh, church associations they had a whole lot of people there that weren't even antifa so it it wasn't just antifa versus all but but on the alt right side in charlottesville you only had 3 to 500 people you didn't have the diversity because you had a small number and there were just a few groups that were represented on the alt right side and yes as as near as i can tell almost every group not every group, like they want to lob uh, oath keepers and three percenters in with the alt right. There, they're not alt right at all. They weren't there to support the alt right. Uh, but most of the other alt rights groups that I saw, they, they're, they're whether whether we want to call them Nazis, I, I don't really care. They're white uh, nationalists. They are white supremacists. They are they are race realists. And so, like, I don't have anything to do with those guys. I, I would have to say on the alt right side, the 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 percentage of people that stood there, not all of them, but I, I I'm thinking like maybe 90 percent of them, I wouldn't call them my friends. But on the on the uh, the the counter uh, uh, protest group, uh, I, I don't I don't know the percentage. Probably higher than 10 percent that I would consider. Uh, having some degree of relationship with, but I don't. I don't have a relationship generally with uh, Democrats, and they had a lot of Democrats. Which, to me, Democrats are are just uh, are, they're just uh, communism with extra steps. So I don't <laughs> have a lot of. I guess I don't really right, have a right, lot of right. love for them. I see. This is th this this example of Charlottesville is lopsided from every other interaction that's happened between these two groups up until this point. Oh, because yeah. if you look at yeah. you look at you you look at the things that happened. I'm going to keep throwing Berkeley out there as a as an example. It was the exact opposite. It was right. the exact opposite. You had that diversity on 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 the side of the alt right, but you did not have that diversity on the other yes, side. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you're right. You know In what I mean. Berkeley, and, and, the the situation was absolutely reversed. Was you reversed. had a smaller group of uh, antifa that were, you know, you didn't have the diversity there. And, right. and and really, you know, the thing is, the groups, the people that called themselves alt-right <laughs> from 2015, 2016, most of the people that called themselves alt-right, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I, I believe most of the people that called themselves alt-right were not, uh, we're not white supremacists. We're not white nationalists. We're not race realists. They, they, they were people that were afraid that they were being targeted because they were white. That's essentially right. who most of these people are. And, and as it emerged, and I'm, I'm not attached to labels. I'm not attached to words. I, i if a word is no longer useful to communicate to a larger audience, I probably like I've I have a hard time telling people and just saying that I'm an anarchist now, even though I understand what anarchist means. I know that in the common parlance, anarchist means 
it means bash the fash. It means it right. means it means black block. That's what it means. It, it means, means black, black block. block. Let's it flip means... over this car and burn this building right. down. That's what it means. So I'm like, do I call myself an anarchist? I'm like, that word right now is poison. I I mean, the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe I'll come back to that word someday. But I'm not really. All, I'm not. I'm not attached to the word. I'm attached to the idea. I'm attached to the idea of there no longer being a course of enterprise, much more than I am whether I can call myself an anarchist or not. So I, I, that's why I, 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 I dropped. I dropped all those things, man. I, I, I'm an abolitionist. The I'm, only thing that I'm, I'm gonna, a the only thing that I will say, the only thing that I will say with certainty is that slavery was never abolished. They just figured out a way to expand the plantation. Uh, and that's and that's that. Um, but I like I said to go back to that original point, man. I don't think that any of either one of these groups is productive for liberty. Therefore, I don't want to associate with either one of them, whether it's the alt right or uh, or Antifa groups. I want nothing to do with either. Like I said, violence only plays into the hands of the authoritarians. Whether it's whether it's violence from someone who doesn't believe that government is legitimate or not, that violence unequivocally plays into the hands of authoritarians because authoritarians are going to use it to give government more power and more control. And that's really the end game to all of this. I mean, you can we can talk and say that these people are useful idiots and we can talk about the deep state, but unless you can acknowledge the fact that violence from either side plays into the hands of authoritarians, what you're saying is nothing more than lip service. Yeah, uh, I and th that that's my major issue with uh, Antifa uh, is and Ty. I think you and I we've actually Ty Ty Ty, Ty Agananda, He's uh, he's he's watching because he's commenting here. Uh, I'll say hi to Jamie by the way. Hi Jamie. Jamie, Jamie Wynock said hi. Uh, I will say my biggest issue with Antifa. I don't consider Antifa broad broadly speaking status commies at all, but. I do not ascribe to uh, for for a very pragmatic reason. I don't subscribe to punch a con want, or punch a, punch a Nazi. I don't. I I uh, and honestly, I'm I'm be honest. I don't you, I don't subscribe know, to punch. How about we just don't punch anyone unless I'm, they're I'm punching not, you I'm, currently I'm, or on their way to punching you. I'm I don't know that I can 100 percent say that about me because if if uh, uh, and i i just can't imagine how this would ever be true but i just i'm not given to absolutes uh, all that much i really get triggered by absolutes Paul, Paul, but, i'd like to address something that that Jamie actually just said in the uh, okay. uh in the chat uh it, the, the comment was we could just ignore them and i i agree to a certain extent i think that probably would would more than likely be the best policy had antifa not showed up in charlottesville Chances are that that uh, uh, what is it the U UTR is what it's called Unite the Right is that not, isn't that it Yeah Unite the chances Right are that, Chances are that that would have gone down as a uh, uh, a pe peaceful I'm, I'm not sure of that I'm not sure I uh, I, I, th I think that if you would have taken Antifa out of that like actual Antifa and you had the other groups there because there were other groups even though they weren't Antifa they were still prepared they were prepared for violence so you had two things happen first of all the night before. Most assuredly, the alt right, uh, the the UTR group. By the way, I'm I'm writing a, an article, and I'm being very careful not to call them alt right and and anti file. I'm referring to the one side as uh, the the uh, uh, the counter protesters, and the other side as just simply the UTR because the UTR supporters. So the right. UTR Friday night, they surround a small group of anti fa and they begin to. Uh, I guess it's anti oh, No, I'm sorry, not at all. I'm just gonna say counter protesters. They surround these counter protesters. They're late. They're 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 hurling all kinds of epithets. You know, Jews will not replace us. Blood and soil. <laughs> I don't know who threw the first punch, but violence happened. Right. right. And uh, and then thereafter, <laughs> the next day. So you had folks geared up because of the night before, and then this is why the violence to me happened. It was because the police orchestrated it they right. they 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 forced Perfect. they forced the protesters out of the park they formed a line the protesters look out across from them and there's a whole they're outnumbered like 10 to 1 counter protesters and they're they're, they're you, you can see some of the videos where they're actually trying to break the street this the 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 police lines to escape 
uh, to, to get out of, to, to get into a safe place. Right. And the police won't let them. And so then they're forced to go into those crowds and right. who threw which, what punches. Which, I, I, the, on the, which I mean, the only first serves, day, which, which only serves as evidence to support my theory that this violence and continued violence only plays into the hands of authoritarians. It There's plays no into the fans of the authoritarians that are trying to advance a narrative that you will demonize each other. You will right. find a reason to demonize one I mean, another. Let, listen, let's 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 one of the things I think that's critically important that no one is addressing right now is where all of this started from. And all of this began with the left, the left their leftists, uh, Democrats, democratic socialists, whatever, the left. Period. I'm going to lump them all in on one big label, the left. All of this began with the left trying to shut down free speech. This is what happens when you label people who aren't racists, racist. We did that for a decade. The left, the, I shouldn't say we, the, the left, did that for a decade. Anyone who disagrees with me is a racist. They did that for a decade. And what happens when you do that is you empower racists because they look at the other guy then and say, well, that guy's a racist just like me. Now, in the, since, since Trump announced his presidency or his candidacy for president, you have the left saying, everybody who doesn't agree with me is a Nazi. And the Nazis are out there saying, well, heck, they must be our guy. And then you have this person that they've been, that they have been accusing of being a racist, of being a Nazi, gain this position of prominence, in this case, the, the presidency, which is the highest office of prominence in, uh, for this country. Now, that further empowers those racists and those Nazis to come out and say, well, heck, the, he's our guy, and he's now in the White House. And then now you have them coming out of the woodwork. So the more this continues, the more that they're going to come out. It's just going to make things worse. All of this began with the left's push for cultural Marxism and their idiocy of wanting to shut down free speech. That's where this all began. Oh, it began. It's where it all began. I, 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 don't, I don't think it began there. It, it, it began at the dawn of time. It is. It has been there. It will always. I don't know if it'll always be there. I kind of think it always will be there. Uh, it is. Yeah, well, it listen, is simply... philosopher Paul. Wait, wait, hang on. Listen, philosopher Paul. Uh, Plato Gordon. <laughs> Plato. Go oh, I like it. I don't know. No, I don't like Plato Gordon because it sounds like right. Dana Plato, and she dead. <laughs> All right. I don't, don't want to go there. Right. I, I'm. I'm talking about specifically. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that this isn't a struggle that's been going on since the dawn of human history. Obviously, it has. But in this particular instance, this is where it began. It began with the, oh, I don't, you don't agree with me, so you're a racist. And now it's transformed into, you don't agree with me, so you're either a racist or you're a Nazi. And this empowers people who are actually racist and actual Nazis when that person who's been falsely labeled or falsely accused of being that thing gains this position of prominence. It's the same thing as if, I, I know we had this whole entire, uh, uh, almost two hours now, uh, talking about, uh, our, is everyone in Antifa a communist? And it goes to the same thing. If we reverse the roles here for the last, I don't know, 12 years, and, uh, and, and, and it was the right accusing every, if we had this big uh, resurgence of McCarthyism, and everyone is pointing at uh, uh, you, you know, at everyone who disagrees with them as a communist, and we have the news media on board. We've got social media platforms on board. Any uh, YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, uh, you name it, and everybody's on board with it. You, all you have to do is sling the accusation of being a communist to someone, and they shut you down. You're getting banned, blocked, removed. Uh, 10 day ban, 30 day ban. The news media is on TV pointing a finger at that guy. That guy's a communist. Everybody is down with the communist. You don't agree with me, you're a communist. And then that person that you spent the last 12 years accusing of that very thing gains the position of prominence. Now the communists are going to think, well, hey, he's our guy. Sure, sure. Right. But I mean, what you're saying is, or what you started off with saying was, that you know, this started off with uh, Democrats or the the, the left at doing this, uh, you know, going after the whole free speech thing, and I, I th th this is th that that was just the latest salvo, as uh, as different groups with different interests have been using uh, coercive uh, tactics and action to try to to muzzle and defang the other. This is an ongoing process. There is no started it. 
and I don't mean I don't mean in a philosophical. I mean there there's 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 no there's no prime starter here in the recent future. Uh, what you're just seeing is, I mean, I guess I could take I kind of take a Hegelian view with what's going on right now, and what you're seeing right now is not necessarily because this because this. It's because the zeitgeist, the 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 the, the collective will of the different groups is such that there is a fundamental division and there is a fundamental struggle for power from within. And the, the American mythology worked for a long time uh, to, 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 to conceal the divisions and to, you know, it, it may be to offer a certain level of comfort that's no longer there. But now things are naked. Now people are starting to feel the burn. And now the true nature of people is just it's just coming to the surface. I don't think that we can avoid what's what's gonna happen next, other than build your you know, I, I my my friend John Smith, he's got these hashtags that he always uses. It's uh and I and he has two of them and I added my own two hashtags to it. One is work your garden. And the second is build your network. And I added uh, uh, know your power and own your preferences. And, and that means uh, the, the best thing that we could be doing right now, uh, to a certain degree, we can use the events around us to try to uh, preach liberty, so to speak. Uh, but but bo the most important thing that we can do, it, it, the, we're not going to stop the commies or the Nazis or, 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 or any of what's emerging, I don't believe. We can, we can work uh our garden we can we can we can work to to disentangle ourselves as much as possible from from the coercion around us we can uh, uh connect with others that are simply doing that that are the the people that are that are getting passionate about defending alt right or defending antifa or or you know their whatever i don't care about the people that think that that's that's where they need to put all their effort in. I understand a certain degree we're going to talk about it. We're going to get upset. We're going to vent about it. But the people that are putting their primary action in that, I, I don't care. I, they're, they're wasting my time. I'm much more interested in, and I'm forming my network. I am much more interested in connecting to people who at the fundamental level believe that it's about you. It's about you creating your power your liberty, connecting to others that are doing the same. And if the S hits the F, the strategy is to get the hell out of the way. Get away from right. these people. You do not want to be involved. If if And, and whatever you got to do, if you're trapped behind enemy lines, lie, do whatever you got to do to, to, to get yourself out, out of whatever zone you're behind. Because there's I, no uh... winner for you and I, Niz. The commies aren't going to rescue us. The Nazis aren't going to no. rescue us. The neocons <laughs> no. aren't going to rescue us. The three percenters aren't going to rescue us. No, None no. of them. None of them no. are going to rescue us. I, and I, I don't want to be rescued. I want to be left here, alone. Here's <laughs> right, right. And, you know, uh, here's here, what I would hope is that just in the past, uh, that a more powerful ideology would win the day. And, uh, and, and, and that ideology would be one that's based on free market capitalism, that's pro-freedom, and by its very nature, by its very existence, is anti-Nazi, anti-fascist, and anti-communist. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am anti-Nazi, anti-commie, uh, I'll say anti-status commie. I'm, I'm not pro, I'm not even pro-anarcho-commie. I won't say I'm, I'm anti-anarcho-commie. I just think it's a dumb idea. But hey, that that and I will and I will also put out there uh, that as far as, uh, you know, my concern, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, moving forward uh, with uh, Antifa or, and with the alt right is 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 very, very simple, man. Uh, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then chances are it's a duck, dude. You got to define the duck first. And the duck for me is, do you advocate for uh, coercive action? Uh, and if you do, then yeah, there's, there's issues there. I'm, but I will say that I'm not 100% against coercive action by individuals, even preemptive coercive action. I think that would be extremely rare. And I guess one of the reasons why I will say that is because I'm 
I don't really like absolutes, so I don't want to paint myself in a corner and say, absolutely, I will never preemptively take, you know, use violence and force against someone. Uh, and then, you know, some weird circumstances arise and I'm like, right, right, oh, right, right. right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, I like the nap. I think I, I the like the nap, right. Yeah. I think the non-aggression principle is a, good, a good idea. Good idea. It's a good thing to try to em, em, employ that in your day to day life. But at the same time, there are instances where, uh, you know, like if I know that, uh, uh, you know, Chester the molester is on his way to go and snatch my kid. I'm not going to wait until after the act is done to try to pound his face. What, what if he's just you thinking I mean? about it? See, even if I know he's just thinking about it, I might, I, I, dep I may assess like, okay, if he is thinking about it and he decides to do it, what's his chance of succeeding? If it's pretty <laughs> high, yeah, I'm probably going right. to do something. I'm probably, right, right. Uh, you no, know, I mean, uh, am, you know, am I, am F I your nap at that point? <laughs> Am I am I truly laying in bed at night worrying about uh, about Nazis and communists? Uh, well, you should be worrying about house? the statecoms no. because the statecoms actually can come to your house right now. Right. What I'm because what, they what, they what, are already. What keeps me awake at night sometimes, and this isn't this is very rare, but what does keep me awake sometimes uh, is the amount of power and control that the state. Uh, is 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 amassing the amount of power and control that they've already usurped and what they plan to do in the future because they never, ever, ever stop. It's a beast that cannot be satiated. It cannot be satiated. It will never have enough. Never. Uh, and and when when you have these instances like we're seeing now breaking out across the country, whether it's uh, you know, whether it's on the east coast or the west coast. Uh, or or uh, or throughout the heartland, the breadbasket, whatever you want to call it, uh, all all this stuff does is play more into their hands. Um, the violence begets violence, and uh, the only group that truly benefits from any of this is the state itself, because the people who weren't involved in the violence are going to clamor for someone to do something, and the person who's going to put on that cape with the with the uh, the big old uh, S for state. Superman, right. There's the S for state. state. That's what it means, uh, S for state. It's going to be the government, and that's who's going to swoop in. And when they come in, they're not going to solve the problem by giving you more liberty. That's not how it works, folks. Yeah, that's, how, not, that's, how, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, exactly. <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think we'll uh, – what do you think we uh, – are? Have we, have we reached an end here? Have we? Have yeah, we, I guess. I, I mean, yeah, are, are I, we? I, like, I could keep talking, Paul. You know how we go. Right. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You I, know, I, I talk to you for days, dude. I know, cause you love me, and it's weird. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, talk to your wife about this. It's a little uncomfortable. A little, a little uncomfortable. Here. Uh, and I don't want to be a homophobe or anything, you know. That's not. You know, that's another thing altogether. But I. You know, I, I guess for me, I am, I am fundamental. The, the 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 things that I'm worried most about are are really myself at this point, and my own mindset, and my own situation, and my own ability. Like, what can I do? Uh, what you know, if if like I'm I and little things like I've I've begun to walk because <laughs> I'm so out of shape, and uh, and. I realized that if something happened, I would absolutely be, I would, I would have an issue. I 10 would, steps up before you'd have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now <laughs> I'm walking. So, so I'm, I'm really, I'm thinking, I, I mean, I make a living to a certain degree actually disseminating the news. So I have to be involved because I may, and I actually enjoy it to a certain degree, but outside of what I do to make a living, um, and even when I do to make a living, if you go to iState.tv, you can read the, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make my articles a little fun, even the serious articles. Uh, and I'm trying to focus my news items more on things that are really essential that people can actually use, whether it's, hey, you got to pay attention to what's going on here because this actually could directly affect you. Or, hey, this is something useful that you may be able to use immediately or down the road to empower yourself. I'm trying to give it that. And I put in some weird news for laughs and uh uh, but but outside of that, uh, I'm I'm trying to get away from 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 being so embroiled in emotionally embroiled in this conversation, this political 
conversation that at the end is really a discussion between a bunch of people who at the end of the day, if I go out and I stand in the middle of a street and I just lay it out bare, all the things that I believe, I most of these groups that advocate for coercive action against somebody because of what they think, they will find a reason to want to hurt me, possibly kill me, at least arrest me, or or no, arrest me, at least ruin my business, ruin my life, ostracize me, destroy me. I know that about the people that are having this conversation amongst themselves, and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll do what you do. You know, just, uh, you know, I will exploit you as much as I can to get resources out of you to put myself in a better position to it, whether whether the, the whole thing falls apart or not. Uh, e even if the whole thing doesn't fall apart, the work that I'm doing now is going to put me in a better position to 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 just be not so liable to these crazy people. Ninety five percent of the people around me have have have. have fundamental beliefs that will target me for violence. I know that. It's in my neighborhood. If I walk to my neighbors, I can walk to my next door neighbors. I have a good relationship with them. If I went to my, okay, some I, some of them are left or right. I go to one neighbor and say, you know, I don't really care about this flag. I don't really care. You know, Colin Kaepernick, what he did, I ain't got no thing. I don't even care about that. <laughs> right, that ain't cares? even no thing. You know, it's silly. It's totally <laughs> Right, right. And, and, and you know, if I go, the flag right, is are diving off the right, porch. And, and I go to the other side, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't, I don't really care about that whole white guilt, white privilege. You know, I, yeah, even right. if it was true, I still don't care because I'm still not giving you my stuff. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with it because I respect the reality of power, and I'm telling you that I will work so that my reality of power defends my stuff from you. They're not gonna <laughs> like that. So. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking that these conversations that are going that within the liberty community, the toxicity that's happening and and again, you know, I have to repeat this cuz you have to you know, I'm not against division per se. I'm not against conflict. I'm not against argument per se, but I believe it's gone way past way past usefulness. Maybe people are dividing that should be divided. I don't know. I think there's a lot of divisions that are happening that are not needed and that it's it's it hurts those of us who uh, if we really looked at ourselves and ask ourselves the the really honest questions if we really broke it down i think that many of us even the people whether you're are you know you're separating from somebody because they don't stand up against nanti file enough or you're separating from someone because they don't stand up against alt right enough uh, those 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 people i believe a lot of these folks that we're separating from at the end of the day they would right. agree the most important thing See, you and, can do and, is build and, your and, power what i what i can what i can tell you paul is i haven't separated from anyone yet oh i'm not talking uh, to you specifically i'm not speaking in the generals Except for that one long-time uh, democratic socialist troll. That that's not who I'm uh, talking. I'm talking about people that are it. actually like reject the coercive enterprise. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking right. about the folks right. who haven't. I mean, because our numbers are so small as it is, and it's like you're splintering up. And, uh, and okay, Jamie said here, I'm I'm over it too, bro. It's like talking to a brick wall. I'm over trying to reach people. Me too. I'm not 100% over trying to reach people, but I'm like maybe 70% over. Maybe only 30% of the effort that I put in the past. The vast majority, this is Jamie, the vast majority have no intention of losing their religion. Absolutely. Especially now, because now they're all being fundamentally threatened by each other. They're not going to lose their religion right now because they feel like they're, they're orphans. They got to pick a side. Uh, F them. I'm focusing on building my own network of associates within the freedom community. Jamie, that's exactly, well, first and foremost, I'm focusing on myself, but second, I'm focusing on, and I'm, and I'm building a network. I have folks that I'm starting to connect to that, that fundamentally, they're not talking about commies and Nazis. They're talking about uh, what, what, what are the best kinds of uh, wild uh, fruits uh, that are edible if you're in the woods. Uh, that, that's, <laughs> right, right. that's the conversation. Right. How to plant I'm, a garden. Yeah, how to plant a garden. Those are right. the conversations that I'm more interested in right now. And 
And yeah, but I do get triggered. I get triggered by any absolute statements. I do. I, I get. <laughs> why are you? Da- why do you mean everyone? <laughs> what do you mean always? Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, oh, I can't, right. I and can't see, I, I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this opportunity to, to, to poke the bear, uh, so to speak, because I see a lot of people who are willing uh, to paint with a broad brush when it comes to the right side of politics, but then they want to, uh, you know, use an exacto knife to make sure they don't offend anyone on the left. And uh, I'm saying, you know what? Screw it. I want to offend everyone. I want them all to be offended. Screw them all. I, I want them all to be. If They all should be offended. Every single one of them should be offended. I don't mind offending states at all of any stripe. Uh, un- unless I find a strategic reason not to. I'm a pragmatist, so I may find pragma- pragmatic reasons to uh, tone it down here or there at times, but uh, I can only do that so much. There's, there's like, I, I'm, I'm a pragmatist to a point, but there's certain things about me that if I were to not do it, even if it hurt me, it would, it would hurt me more not to. Right. <laughs> I have to, yeah, you know, I have to. I'm like that, that dude, you know, with the, the, the meme with the, the veins are coming out. You're like, <laughs> oh, I can't let this absolutist statement right, go. Right, right. How long have I went before I mentioned this absolute statement? <laughs> you know, well, you know, Paul, right, if your you do face this, is turning blue. pretty much everybody's going to hate you in the party. <laughs> yes, but I'm right, going right. to, you know, we're gonna, gonna, shit is going to shoot out of my forehead if I don't say <laughs> something soon. <laughs> I have no choice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly, right. Jamie. Cryptocurrencies. Yeah, I'm getting into that too. And uh, yeah, so are we. We've been uh, we've been we've been going down pretty good. Manda has been taking a a uh, uh, a really really um, addictive. Uh, well, she's uh, buying and selling and trading. Session uh, with with cryptocurrencies, man. She's been just devouring all the information she can find. And uh, I That's said, hey, cool. you know what? If That's if, really if, awesome. Uh, if if you're gonna get into it into that depth, and I'm just gonna let you, you just go ahead. You do you do that. you, I mean, you do focus. you boo you do you right, boo. I'll fo- right, I'll I'll focus on all this. I'll focus on the radio show. I'll focus on all this other stuff. You focus on that if that's something that you find interesting and that's something that you want to get into. That's something you want to delve into. You go right ahead. I'll let you do that. And anytime that I have questions, I will defer to your expertise since you're the one who wants to do all the uh, uh, reading and research and 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 all that stuff. And all the practical application, if you could say that. Oh, and I would say something about uh, uh, there's a lot of reaction to you know what's happening to the to, to Christopher Cantwell on all these social medias and all this other stuff. And you know, I, I understand I understand the slippery slope that's uh, happening there. Yeah, okay, you can say they're a private business, and I, I certainly understand they're a private business. And I'm not invoking my lulls or anything like that. So, uh, but I will say that. Uh, uh, the market will and is responding. So the idea of free speech, yeah. Uh, now, in the case of Christopher Crantwell, I got to say, I don't know. I don't know if that guy would even get a free speech pass for me because he's actually advocated for actually, like he said, you know, we, we should. I don't know if he said this. I don't, I don't know 100% sure. But uh, yeah, from from what I've, I mean, he's 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 he celebrated the death of the, the person who got killed in uh in, in Charlottesville for instance and 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 basically adv- to me what i see the guys like literally trying to incite violence the way that i read it if and if if i'm right, right if my assumption is right i'm not I, he's off of my platform but outside of that he's probably still on even though he's total creepo but uh the the alternatives are already forming like okay i i'm actually getting back into steam it and I'm I'm trying to put stuff up on Steam. Uh, and yeah, I, I've seen I have actually seen uh, two alternatives uh, to YouTube. Well, recently. well, well, Steam it has a YouTube alternative. It's uh, DTube dot video, and no, that does not mean I want the D. Yeah, uh, 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 it just it's a it's an alternative to YouTube, and it's run on the Steam platform. So again, you can make. I'm not. I'm not so much worried about making money off of Steemit. Uh, I. I certainly haven't. I think I've made like a total of maybe two dollars. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not making any money there, on there's, Steemit. There's. There's also uh, an alternative now um, for monetization. Um, so you don't have to go through YouTube's monetization platform if you have been uh, 
demonetized. Which I have. I have. I have several videos. I I've, had like thirty I've, some I've videos. I've had a number. That, that I've had a number stuff de demonetized. Not that I was making any money right. on YouTube anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, mon it's called monetile. Okay, monetile. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think. So uh, so so people want to make money, and uh, people want to watch what they want to watch, and they want to find what they want to find. So Mozilla Firefox is going to make the decision that it's going to decide. Uh, uh, what what is fake news? And it's going to to you know for me, it's going to probably shield sites that I would regularly go to. Like, okay, I am actually I've had uh, I'm very proud to say that I've had three articles now appear in D Daily Sheeple. I love the Daily Sheeple. I loved it before I was ever uh, published into Daily Sheeple, and Daily Sheeple would probably be put in that category. Uh, uh, uh activist post. Another site that I love uh, would be put into that category. So right. if if it may, maybe maybe for for uh, Mozilla Firefox, it'd be like maybe it is a good thing for them economically. Maybe maybe their audience really doesn't want to find those sites. I'm betting that they do. I think they're probably wrong. Uh, but but there's going to be browsers that see an opportunity. Holy crap! There's going to be this. I mean, even if we're just five percent of the population, even if if uh, anarchists are just five percent of the population, which I think might be a little generous, but I, I think maybe it's about five percent, maybe three percent. I'll say three percent. Even if it's freaking three percent, you're talking about nine million people. You know right, what? The free market if, will decide, and it's you, not just going to be you can make to that money group. off of nine million people, dude. It's it's not just going to be pigeonholed to that group either, Paul. I mean, the the free market will decide, uh, and and I'm betting. Uh, that uh, people aren't going to like the idea of censorship. Are there going to be some people that are going to love it and think it's the greatest thing? Yeah, since they're going to like that little safe space of theirs. And absolutely, those are the same people that are creating this uh, the, this censorship network right now. Those are the people who are going to bask in its uh, in its glory. But the uh, glory. <laughs> I think the large huh glory. Yes. Yeah, they're going to bask in its glory, and and I think the large majority of people though are going to. Uh, find the idea um, to overuse my word for tonight repugnant repugnant um, it is right the word i mean of the you day. could even look and, and and for an example of that i mean you could even look at uh uh at uh, like the proxy services and stuff like that that come out of uh that come out of uh oppressive regimes like uh, north korea and and china one of the greatest proxies i ever had was uh was was straight from china i mean i, I truthfully i don't even know how the heck i even got it installed <laughs> uh, because it was before the days of Google Translate and everything was in uh, Chinese script. Uh, but it was fantastic. It was phenomenal. There was nothing could be blocked from anywhere. Oh, uh, uh, Kami confirmed. Right. I frequently used that when I was in college uh, because the college wouldn't let you access sites like, uh, like well, at the time it was Google Video. I'm, I'm, I'm betraying my age. It wasn't even YouTube. Uh, it was Google Video. And then uh, during that wow, time period, transition you to Google YouTube. Video. I but remember, you could. I remember Google Video, which I didn't participate in. I remember YouTube, and I thought it's a fad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> machine than the internet. Uh, and, and then, and then I was like, okay, maybe I should pay attention to YouTube. But the technology was <laughs> such that unless you had a really decent computer, it was actually hard to watch the videos, and definitely really hard to upload any videos of any meaning. So I didn't, I didn't participate because I didn't have the money to have a really good computer. So hey, yeah, I, like uh, I just want to put this out there real quick. If you're still watching this, uh, if you're thanks. still watching, uh, yeah, if you're still watching, or if you're watching this at a later time, or thank if you just you. came in because I just did a little bit of a promotion. Oh, you did now. Well, I, I just want to say thank you, uh, and um, I'd like to uh, do a little plug here for the Torchwood Report. Oh yeah, do 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 a please do. show every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. 9 p.m. Central on LRN.FM. That's the Liberty Radio Network. It's uh, called the Torchwood Report. Uh, myself and uh, several co-hosts. Wait, you're uh, not going to say their names? Are they, what are, they, are they embarrassed to have their names? Well, no, 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 no. We're 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 working on some uh, some changes to the rotation. Oh, is there a configuration? A reconfiguration? There, there is. Yes, we are reconfiguring our uh, our host rotation. Uh, in the past, we had three set hosts, uh, and and we're going to expand that and begin to rotate a third host um, every uh, every week or so, oh. uh, so we can get a little bit of a different perspective and a different take. And of course, Paul, you were you're you're on the list of uh, uh, of people that we were going to approach. Well, about, that makes uh, sense because I've been on the show, and you know we do right. shows, and yeah, it makes sense. Right, we do shows. 
We do shows. Uh, so, We've done a lot of shows together, actually. Right. Uh, and the tortured report, we generally uh, we talk about all kinds of stuff. It just depends on what's uh, just depends on what's hip, man. Uh, you know, I know tomorrow night we're definitely going to be talking about uh, Charlottesville for sure. <laughs> Jamie, uh, Jamie said, "I know who Paul is. I don't know who the other fella." I don't know well, the I, other fella. Hi, other fella. Other, no, uh, the Jamie other fella. says hi, other fella. What? The I've done a lot of shows with Niz, Jamie. I am the one true Niz. He's the one true Niz. I'm just Paul Gordon. Am, but anyway, I'm sorry. I wanted to respond to Jamie there. I apologize. Uh, so um, we're, we're, uh, we, we go all over the board. Uh, we talk about politics. We talk about tech. We talk about uh, uh, everything. End of the sun. Just depends on what catches our eye. Uh, what, 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 in, did, what did we show. talk about the last time I was on? What did I talk about? What did you talk what about? The last time you were on? I can't I even remember. Even... Oh, we talked about all kinds of crazy stuff. I think. Oh man, Donald Donald got, Trump was in that about, conversation. No, listen, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I still have the show notes here. We talked about all kinds of stuff. We that talked was... about Donnie. We did talk little, about Donnie. We, we did, but not too too much. We oh, talked we talked about... a lot of weird stuff, didn't we? We did, yeah. Like we the did. whole show was all crazy. It was all crazy stuff. It was. Yeah. Uh... I do that on my site, by the way. I state when you when you go to iState TV, the iState TV, you will find that uh, I I try to regularly mix in some weird news and even some weird celebrity news because you know we gotta. <laughs> it can't all be. Serious, we talk about man. Lizard Man. Was that us that talked about Lizard Man? I don't remember Lizard Man. The guy that wanted to be a lizard. I don't Isn't know. what, 721? There, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here, this is oh, what he, oh he's got, oh, here we go. Mr. We record about, Keeper. Uh, Sean Spicer and Scaramucci. We talked about uh, Texas Viagra. Oh, yes. That's uh, right. Yes. Uh, we talked about the guy who got shot in the dick. That's right. Uh, That's right. We talked about uh, Cecil the Lion's son got killed. Oh, yeah, right. And how the Kenyans were like, dude, awesome. <laughs> All the uh, Americans were like, oh, my God, right, not enough right. iron. And the, right. And the Kenyans are like, like, dude, have you like, been here? God, we don't have to worry about that lion <laughs> eating <Right>. our children. <laughs> yeah, he's such a noble creature. Well, if your daughter's head is in his mouth, you might not say he's <laughs> noble. But, you well, know, you go on with your American privilege over there. That's cute. about that murder in Pennsylvania where the uh, uh, the guy asked his uh, girlfriend or wife or whatever to kill him because he thought he was a shape-shifting alien in a lizard or in a human suit oh yeah 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 we we well okay yeah we did a weird show that's right we did the we did the weird show i look, what, about what, pepsi yeah yeah we did and uh we'll, we'll wrap this up i think what do you think i think we've yeah, got this. yeah i think so i think my, I, uh, I i don't know if either one of us has moved the other i will no. say that niz for me you know I, I i've never looked at your stuff that you i mean i i disagree with it i I disagree with it tactically, really, but I didn't. I didn't ever look at you and think, "Oh, uh, there's something wrong with this guy." Oh no! Oh no! Niz is going. I'm losing. I'm losing Niz. He's going to the dark side. Because uh, I know you. You know. So. There's reasons. There's reasons. Right. For there's there's reasons. I may not agree with it, but there's reasons. It's there's, it's there's absolutely. It's, it, it, it's definitely not. Uh, you're not a real anarchist kind of reasons. I'm. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, if, if anything came out of this, I'm hoping that maybe, you know, the whole you're not a real anarchist, you know, because of of, of uh, the degree to which you think you should hammer Antifa and or alt-right doesn't really, hopefully doesn't, it t takes you to that next step of, that's it, you're not a real anarchist, you're a commie, you're this, there, you know what, no, uh, now if you talk to someone and you find out that they're, well, you know, the commies aren't all bad. What do you mean by commies? You know, like the Leninists. Oh, get the get out of here! <laughs> right, okay. right, right. Hey, I don't want to. Right, you, right. I got nothing for see, you. See, my my purpose. Get out of here! My purpose in doing that is I I woke up I woke up on Sunday morning, and my entire news feed was flooded. Still I mean, is. flooded with yeah. people Nazi this and Nazi that, Nazi this and Nazi that. And then I turned on the news and it was Nazi this and Nazi that, Nazi this, Nazi that. And I just Nazi. kept going. In. And everywhere it was Nazi, 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 Nazi. But no one was addressing the 800-pound gorilla of communism in the room. No one was. And I was uh, getting the opposite. 
I was actually, because of my particular friends, I guess, I don't know, I was actually getting uh, Antifa, or All Evil, and there were, I'm not, when I say, I mean, like, <coughs> it, it wasn't it, it wasn't even a significant number of my friends, but it was significant number enough that it happened to be people that were clogging. Not only were they clogging my 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 feed, they were showing up on my on my comments on my posts. Right, and they were they were they were basically alt right apologists, and I don't mean like no, the alt right's not all bad. I mean like, well, you know, have you ever really thought about race realism? No. So, right, right, right. My uh, white genocide. I lost a lot of people in one day that I didn't realize right. all these folks that they weren't just saying that they were part of the alt right. Okay, that's one thing. Uh, I understand uh, to a certain degree. I can have a conversation with you. Uh, but when you start defending race realism and white nationalism, then I'm like, okay, yeah, that's uh, to me, that's a line too far. Just like on the other side, right. conversations that I have with some of my more, I guess I'll say, left leaning folks. Uh, whenever the conversation goes to uh, uh, an advocation for a coercive enterprise to take them through some sort of phase, okay, seizing the means of production. Now, you want to seize the means of production by rendering the means of production obsolete, that's fine. But seizing the means of production violently, no, nope, I'm sorry, goodbye. I feel the same way about and you it, it, that I do it, the anti of all who stand for white nationalism. <laughs> And Severn Freeman joined right. us just now, just at the very end. Hey, Severn, welcome, welcome to the end of the show. Man, you missed welcome it. Welcome to the end of the show. Welcome. <laughs> but I even went, I even went then into the liberty because I, I, I belong to, you know, a significant number of libertarian communities, and it was the same thing. I saw the same thing there. It was, you know, Nazi this, Nazi that, Nazi this, Nazi that. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you were, you, you, I thought you were supposed to be reasonable people, objective people, and and I didn't see. So that's kind of when I started on with my commie this and commie that and commie this kind of stuff. And it wasn't even that I that I went at it as in like that was my sole focus. Like oh, they're com just right out the right from the gate, commie, commie, commie. I went at it from look, Nazis and commies are bad, and then people would step in and defend commies and like what the, what is happening. What is happening here? Yeah. What is happening here? Okay. It's just madness. I think everybody And, and Lou just said, stop by. I think Lou was, I, Lou, were you art of not being governed? Did you show up as art of not being governed? I think you did, Lou. And uh, Lou just came in. But, you know, Lou Fien is coming in and he's commenting and he's saying that we're all a bunch of commies. And, uh, oh, by the way, Lou, um, I'm anxious for when you release the interview that you did of me and Bodie. I'd like to hear that. Uh, uh, Anyway, Lou Fien is a bacon fryer, and I think I think that pretty much says it all. I am not for demonizing people unless they deserve it, dehumanizing people unless they deserve it, and I would say that bacon fryers kind of kind of fit into that category, actually. Yeah, I'm so. okay with any kind of bacon as long as it's not raw. No, no, I, 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 uh, uh, maybe I have been here for a while. Right, and and Lou is, uh, is uh, you know what? I'm a bacon baker, and that's a good thing. I own that title. I'm like bacon <laughs> baker. I'm proud of that. You know, I'm a, I guess I'm a bacon baker supremacist. <laughs> that's what I am. <laughs> Fight me! <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Dude, nailed it. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's right, Pig nailed head. it. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my daughter said to me the other day, she says, you know, Dad, pigs are so smarter than dogs. I'm like, do dogs taste like bacon? They don't, do they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I eat pigs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, a horrible right. human being. Seal the deal. Yeah, <laughs> seal the deal. So, really, if Lou Fiend tasted like bacon, <laughs> he probably should sleep with his doors locked. <laughs> I'm just, uh, uh, yeah. just going to put that out there, Lou. <laughs> but I have no reason to believe that you taste like bacon, Lou. So you're, <laughs> you're totally, totally safe. So I want to thank everybody for joining us here on iState. Where, 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 were we uh, simulcast today? Did you, we did, were we simulcast? That's on? Report. Yeah, I think so. Matt did, really didn't really didn't get back to me and let me know uh, what he had going on there. But Mr. Um, Matt is he's supposed to have been simulcasting this on the Torchwood Report. So uh, uh, if you're still here, do me a favor, head on over to the Torchwood Report on Facebook. Really easy. Just go up in the search bar and type in the Torchwood Report. You probably get uh, it just with energy. Torchwood Report too. Right, right, right. And just uh, click the enter key and give us a like and uh, and your. Your Feel free to comment. I mean, I'm, I'm not above calling people stupid. 
on my uh oh um, oh oh wait are you is the torchwood report just now showing up are you just now showing up i'm here now is that what matt just said <laughs> i'm here now oh like oh, oh never mind he's saying oh, there, bro. oh what he's saying okay so this is sorry this isn't matt this is the torchwood report facebook page that showed up and the torchwood report facebook page is basically saying click me baby so oh, so there it is. So if you're if you're listening and you're in uh, Ty, be sure that you click on the Torchwood Report uh, Facebook page and that you like it. Lou, you should be doing the same. Jamie, <laughs> all of you should be clicking on the right. Torchwood Report on LRN click. right after Free Talk Live. Yeah, click on it so right. If right, Free Talk Live. Just don't shut it off. We're on right after it. Just right stick after. On the commercial. What, what what a lead in. Uh, what a glorious lead in. Isn't it though? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wonderful I wasn't being thought. sarcastic. People think I'm always being sarcastic, man. I'm not sarcastic. <laughs> and and whoa, 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 whoa. Ba- Jamie just said bacon is overrated. That is oh gosh. That cannot be tolerated. That is inappropriate, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, I thought I thought we had a bond. I thought we had a connection. <laughs> oh, and Luce had already liked. Okay, good. And so this has been I State. Uh, uh, I am Paul Gordon. You can find all of my stuff, everything, my Facebook pages, my multiple shows and all that stuff. You could find that at is tv.me on this Facebook page on the Liberty principle, Facebook page this Monday, about eight to nine, somewhere around there. Whenever professor Rambo shows up, we'll be doing a special full auto show where we're going to have, uh, Donnie Gabbert on, Who's going to, I forget exactly, he's like the automate, automatic Congress. Uh, I'm referring to it as the blockchain legislature. We're going to be talking about the the blockchain legislature, using the blockchain to make everybody a, a legislator. And we're going to, of course, we're going to talk about it from the perspective of, well, what does that kind of, how does that kind of world affect uh, the, 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 the gun folks, the, the people who love the guns? Because I do love my guns. And uh, that, that's on full auto. So that'll be on uh, uh, this uh, next Monday. And uh, then Tuesday on, what is it? Uh, we do it on Napa TV Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Napa TV. Uh, Bodhi and I, Andrew Merch and I, will be doing another episode of Flozilla where we talk about weird news, celebrity news, stupid. Uh, we're basically, it's for the lulls. We talk about the glitter or the lulls because you know it's it's good to not be so serious all the time so you have any last remarks for our studio audience here mr nizarinos oh my and now i want to <laughs> suck a penis wow <laughs> thanks for that you see how that thanks works it's that. uh it's uh right. it, it just gets in your head you're like oh my gosh i never thought i'd no i'm, I'm just i'm just right. kidding by the way i Please. don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin frogs gay I, I think you do, Alex. I, I think you. I think thou doth protest too much. That's what do you what think I, tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. <laughs> it's a gay bomb, baby. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. Okay, <laughs> All right, right. Alex. Okay, it's, it's Alex. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we'll leave you with. Alex Hulk, is that is that what that is? All Alex right. The- so, uh, uh, and be sure to check out Torture Report tomorrow. Actually, it's on uh, tomorrow night. night, tomorrow night at yep. 10 p.m. And uh, come back here again uh, uh, next Monday for me and Professor Rambo on full auto. We'll all see you. Well, we'll see you when we see you. Good good night, everybody. I don't I don't have a grand ending for this. So, lavate we'll just... las manos. That means. I wish wash I had a big hands. penis, but I don't. Means wash your That's hands. That's what you said. You just said I have a big penis. Or, I don't have a big penis, and I wish I did. I understand. I understand. Well, I don't understand actually. Can't even relate to that. But <laughs> that's another story altogether. We'll save that for another show. And uh, good good night, everybody. And uh, above all yeah, else, thanks for watching. You know what? I'll end it like this. I'll end it like this. Work your garden. Build your network. Know your power, own your preferences. Peace, love, and and yes, it got weird. Understanding.
Goodbye.